welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be doing my official Match Week 2 Championship predictions and Match Week 1 Premier League predictions. If you enjoy this kind of content, make sure to smash that subscribe button. So yeah, let's just get right into this with the Championship first and the Premier League. I don't know which one you guys rather see, but we'll do the Championship first and the Premier League. You can email me at zaynrizvi at gmail.com. Which is, that's R-I-Z-V-I for RISV, if you want to feedback change. But yes, without any further ado, let's just hop right into this. Coventry against Middlesbrough, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time in the United States. At the CBS Stadium, the Coventry Building Society Arena Stadium, also known as the Rico Arena. And yes, this one should be good. It really should be. But let's just... I don't know, I'm hoping for Cuff. There's a really good YouTuber who's a Cuff fan, and I really like his content in Cuff. They've signed Haji Wright, which I think is a great signing from the Turkish League. Um, and they've signed Ellis Sims, which I think is a good signing. McFedzian is still playing well, no matter how old he is. Uh, Godin doing well. Hamer, great player. And yeah, so. Coventry, and then I think it's a really good team. Middlesbrough, you lost Cameron Archer back on loan. Still have Akpom and some other good talent, but yeah. I think that Coventry, I don't know as much about Middlesbrough's team, but Coventry, in my opinion, I think will win this one at home. They've played Middlesbrough so much lately, but anyway, I do think Coventry is going to win. Let me just get straight to my predictions. 2 1 Cove. All right, then, Hull City against Sheffield Wednesday. This is our next prediction right here for Hull against Sheffield. I think at the MKM, Hull City, I just have, I mean, they got robbed by Norwich. They did get robbed. That ball was out. And, yeah, but Sheffield is a good team. I don't know what they'll say here. Cisco Munoz against, um, what's his face? Liam Rosinier, and I think that this one should be good. I'm going to say Sheffield Wednesday 1, Hull City 1. Then we have Rotherham against Blackburn Rovers as we move on to the New York Stadium. And at the New York Stadium, Rotherham lost badly 4-1 to Stoke. And I just don't see them getting anything against Blackburn, even at home. So I'm just going to get straight to my prediction. Quite simple. 3-1 Blackburn Rovers. Next up, Huddersfield against Leicester City. Leicester City are most people's title favorites. I honestly put Southampton as my title favorite as relegated side, but Huddersfield, I they're not they're nobody's title favorites, but I think Leicester will smash, smash, smash Huddersfield. So my prediction right here is going to be Huddersfield. To lose three nil. All right, then moving on to our next one at St. Mary's, Southampton against Norwich City. This one should really be good. Southampton and Norwich, two teams that recently were in the Premier League together, now they're in the Championship together. This I expect this to be a good match. Wagner wants to do good. The weird Jurgen Klopp clone. I mean, just look him up online. It's ridiculous how similar he looks to Klopp. I know they're both of German descent, but yes, I know it's really, it's confusing why they look so similar. But anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. Back to the game. Russell Martin, possession baseball with Southampton. They play well. I think they will continue to play well. I mean, they get crazy possession stats. And yeah, they're going to continue just to ball out, in my opinion. And I think they'll do just fine. So... Southampton to get a 2 1 win. Romeo Lavia probably won't play though. Fabrizio's favorite player to talk about. And um, Mark Goldbridge. But anyway, we move on to our next one. Another 10 o'clock at the Hawthorns. Probably in Swansea City, as I mentioned, at the Hawthorns. This one should really be good. West Brom, I know two defeats, one to Stoke in the Cup. And then who did they lose to in the league in the first match? I can't remember. But anyway, it should be good. West Brom, relying on them just to get good results is not really the way to go. 
and Swansea under Michael Duff look good. I'm going to go 2 0 Swansea on the road. All right, then on the Vicarage Road, we have Watford against Plymouth Argyle. Watford smashed, smashed, smashed QPR 4 0. And then Plymouth Argyle beat um, Huddersfield 3 1. So I think that they're doing pretty good. But yeah, can Watford make it two wins out of three? Because they lost to Stevenage Borough. Stevenage Borough, or whatever you want to, how you ever want to pronounce it. Whether you're English or American or from somewhere else. Um, in the Carabao Cup. But I think that Watford should get the result here. I'm going to back them against Plymouth. Stevenage Borough and the Cup are just some different material. So I'm not going to blame that loss too much on Watford. Villarreal Ishmael looks like he's doing a good job. He'll probably get sacked soon, though. But, yeah, anyways, my prediction, 1-0 Watford. We move on then to Preston against Sunderland. Here we are, Preston against Sunderland, and it's a deep day. Last time these said met was in the final day of the championship season last year, where Sunderland went on to win 3-0 at Deepdale, and they were... Gone to the playoffs. They got into the, went to the playoffs, and then they lost in the playoffs. But anyway, so I shouldn't remind you of that. That's probably traumatic. But not a great start to the season. Lost to Ipswich at home. And then the cup, they lose to Crew. And I'll get, I get, sorry, but I hate to bring more trauma into a club I like, like Sunderland. I don't support them, but I still like them. But that five-two loss to non-league Hartlepool. It's just absolutely awful. So, yeah, I'm going to have to go. But Preston, again, they did go ahead and just draw against Bristol City, which is going to set the tone for their whole season. Mid-table championship mediocrity from Preston North End. And, yeah, I think that this one should be good. I'm going to go Preston 1, Sunderland 2. Then we have Ipswich Town against Stoke City at Portman Road. Portman Road, it's the Red, White, and Blues against the Red, White, and Blues. And the colors of the Union Jack and the American flag. So England, Heart America, hopefully. Um, and let's keep on going. I think that this one just has a kind of as an Ipswich win written all over it. Because... Stoke never do really good and then really good. They always do really good and then bad or really bad. And they're just inconsistent, Stoke City. That's what they're known for in the championship. Bottom half, inconsistency finishes. And I think that here, I'm going to go for an Ipswich win. Yes, you beat Sunderland 2-1. And I think I'm going to continue this good form, especially at Portman Road. I think that you will do good. And I'm going to go Ipswich to win this one 1-1. And Stoke, nil. All right, then we move on here. We have Cardiff City against Queen's Park Rangers. Cardiff against QPR should and will be good, in my opinion. Cardiff, I just, I'm going to have to back Cardiff. Because, listen, QPR got smashed, smashed, smashed by Watford 4-0. I know that Watford like to start off seasons by winning absolutely crazy margins, but, um... Cardiff, 2-2 two, two draw against Leeds. They were up 2-0, too. This Gulut, the manager, the Turkish manager, I don't know how he'll do, but good luck to him. And let's just keep on going. Cardiff City, 2-1. to one. Then we have our next one right here. It's Birmingham against Leeds United. For this Birmingham against Leeds match, what do I, what do I say about this one? Birmingham City... Let me some insight here. One one draw at the Swansea.com. And I just think, you know, they were up one nil for most of it. Late equalizer by Swansea's Jerry Yates. And yeah, Eustace will probably do a good job here. There's optimism at Birmingham City. There really is. There's Tom Brady there. And yeah, I don't want to get the other type of football in there. But yes, there is um Tom Brady there. By the way, it's called soccer, just so you know that. There is no two types of football. There's Canadian football and American football. Those are the two types. Because it's called soccer. Listen to Pulisic. Even though he's not my favorite player by any stretch. 
But I think Birmingham against Leeds will probably be a good game. But Leeds, I'm going to go for an away result for Leeds. I'm going to say 2-0. All right, then our final matchup of the championship. Remember, we are doing Premier League in this video. So sit back and relax. Do not click off the video. We have Millwall against Bristol City. Millwall and Bristol City should be good. It's at the Den. Millwall always get one nils at the Den. They're known for that. Bristol City, mid-table side. I'm not going to... I don't know why. Millwall won. But then they were demolished 4-0 by third-tier Redding in the Cup. So they're just telling me to go for a Bristol City win here. Sign from God? I don't even know what this is a sign from. But Bristol City, 1-0. Why not? Away win. All right, then, well, there you have it. Those are the championship matches. We have the Premier League coming right up with you. So do not click off. Do not go anywhere. Championship is over. Premier League is coming right up. Then here I am sitting in the same chair. Premier League predictions for match week one of match week 38. Let's hop right into this one. Burnley against Man City. And, yeah, Burnley got demolished 6-0 by Man City last time they played in the um, FA Cup quarters. But... The the different Burnley, James James Trafford, he's got that thousand sigma in him. He's not going to let this one fly away. And, yeah, I think that Burnley should get some kind of result. They're looking to make a good first impression here. They made some good signings. But they have lost Ian Matson, Ashley Barnes, their second highest scorer, and their top scorer, which, whose name is Nathan Teller. With the loss of the second highest scorer in um, Ashley Barnes, the top scorer, Nathan Teller, all still in the championship. It's questionable. What will Burnley be able to do? I think that they will shadow while getting a result. So I'm going to go Burnley 1 at Turf Moor, Man City 4 at Turf Moor. At the Turf Moor Stadium, it will be a good one. Don't worry. All right, then we have the next game in chronological order. Arsenal at the Emirates against Nottingham Forest. This one's tricky, really. Arsenal, I think, they're looking good in preseason. They are. They smashed MLS All-Stars um, because Ronaldo is better than Messi. Just kidding. Anyway, he might be, he might not be, but yeah. The watch started World War Three in the comment section down below by saying he is or isn't. So, yeah. Arsenal looking good, and Nottingham Forest also pretty solid. I like the signing of Alanga. I like the signing of Matt Turner from Arsenal. So he could be playing against his old team on the first match day, which would be a bit weird. But anyway, Arsenal, they're a draw with Forest. A bit of a slow start to the season. I don't know why. Somebody's just telling me. Arsenal 2, Forest 2. Then we have our next matchup. Sheffield United against Crystal Palace. Sheffield United, I did predict you to finish bottom of the league against Crystal Palace, so I predicted you to finish just mid-table, 11 Crystal Palace things. I think ever since they've came up, or like the last nine years, or they've got a points total in the 40s. They never get a points total outside of the 40s. So yes, this will be a good season. Do not worry, Palace fans. Just stay up under Roy Hodgson. And, yeah, I'm going to go. Sheffield United, nil. Crystal Palace, two. Even though it's at Bramble Lane, I just, you never know. Sheffield United, they've lost Illiman and Die. Sandra Berga is probably going to be out the door to Burnley. And, yeah, Sheffield United to lose, too. Now, I'm sorry, Blades fans. Even though I am a Wednesday fan, the other side of Sheffield. So, yeah, that's a little, I'm not being biased, don't worry against West Ham from last year this would be 15th against 14th and yeah Bournemouth I don't know how Ariola is going to do the new manager but then Ariola, the goalie of West Ham when Fabianski is not hurt I think should do pretty good dude Ariola, Ariola there um Ariola, Ariola give me a uh, soccer bola which is soccer ball and, yeah, I think this one should be close. And, yeah, I'm just going to say Bournemouth will get a win. Look, good first impression under their manager. 2 nothing. Especially if Pakistan gets sold to City. That'll be weird. 
Moving on to our next matchup, then it is at the Farmer, the Amex. It's Brighton against Luton Town. Brighton against Luton Town in the Premier League. It's just weird to think Luton Town playing in the Premier League. But yeah, not, never in my lifetime have they actually done that. But yeah, I think this one should be competitive. Brighton just to edge Luton two to one. Carlton Morris late goal for Luton, obviously. All right, our next matchup is at Goodison. It's going to be Fulham against Everton. So with this one being at Goodison, the last season of Everton's current stadium. Um, yeah, I really don't know what to say about this one here, but I think that it should be a good result for Fulham. I know they've got Raul Jimenez, so I don't want to repeat what I said in my predictions video because that's just something like a broken record. But Everton lost Namari Gray to Fulham. You have also lost... Who has Fulham lost? Well, they've lost Mitrovic verbally to Halal. I don't know how he's still on the team's contract that follow me. He says he never wants to play for them again. He's never going to play for them again. So don't really know what that's all about. But yes, follow him. Good side. Everything decent. 1-1. One, one. All right, then. Newcastle against Aston Villa. This is a tasty matchup. Possibly my favorite. No, I'll say it's my second favorite matchup of the match. Day, but on one that's yet to come. So yes. I think Newcastle, Sandro Ginali, love the signing of Sandro. Absolute beast. And Aston Villa, Pau Torres, what a beast. Diaby, beast. Tielemans, not really as much lately. And uh, signing from Exeter City, you made. If that Exeter City player is watching, I forgot your name. I'm so sorry. But I remembered you, and I'm sure even Villa fans wouldn't. So there is something. All right, but my score prediction... Newcastle 2, AVFC 2. Brentford against Tottenham. This game is always a draw. It's boring. But I just think that my gut's telling me it's going to be a draw and care. But no, I'm going to go for a Brentford win. Why not? Brentford have lost David Raya to Arsenal. They have also lost Ivan Tony temporarily because of his betting suspension. And I just see this one low-key being a good result and yeah for Brentford two nothing Brentford it's happened before it'll happen again all right then this was called in a meme the L classico L is in the letter L in the English alphabet but yeah I don't think it'll quite be the L classico for this reason I just think that Chelsea are good Chelsea is good. Liverpool, they're good too. Sobosly, McAllister, only two signings you've made. Possibly Lavia to come, but Chelsea actually also do want Lavia. So this should be a good tasting matchup. I'm just not sure how it'll go out completely. I'm going to say, though, Chelsea looking strong. Liverpool looking strong. By the way, Nicholas Jackson, what a flipping beast out there for Chelsea. Also, you know... Kunku, amazing player. Bully dumps all of his unwanted players to Saudi Arabia. But yeah, Chelsea, Liverpool, 2 all. Alright, then our final match is at Old Trafford. It is Manchester United Football Club against Wolverhampton Wanderers Football Club. It's not looking good for Wolves. A lot of people are tipping them to get relegated, myself included there. I put them 19th in my table. Um, and yeah. But Gary O'Neill, a.k.a. Skinny P, is the manager. Don't know what I really think of that one. And I just think Wolves should get a result here, but they're not going to, obviously. They need the result, but it's not going to happen. 2-0 Man United. There you have it. If you enjoyed this week's episode of Premier League Championship Predictions, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you in a while. See ya.